Well, the thing is, malnutrition and cholera kind of fit each other. So, if you're malnourished, you're going to be weaker, and so you're more likely to get cholera and die from cholera. Um, you know, someone who's very well fed and strong is less likely to at least get the worst form of cholera and, and can recover faster. So malnutrition would be an aggravating factor to cholera. What also happens is sometimes children have cholera or they have diarrhea, bad watery diarrhea, and then they dehydrate and they get into malnutrition with that. So one can lead to the other and, and you know, vice versa, but both together is just a, a terrible, um, it's a terrible uh, couple for children. I mean, it's something that really can kill children. There's a bit of a shortage of, of um, cholera vaccines around the world because, as I said, there's 31 uh, outbreaks in the world and so there are great demand. Uh, but we're getting an allocation for Haiti, which is really important. I think we always have to work to, to, to plan for the worst case scenario. I think we always have to, you know, to think the worst. Because we're, as humanitarians, we don't want to regret later on that we haven't done what we needed to do, right? So we, we need to just put everything we can to it as fast as possible. For that, we need the resources, the people, the access. I think we can get the three of them. Uh, so that's, that's, that's our mission, basically.